remember that. Hello, everyone. Welcome to yet another awesome session of InfoSec Girls. So today, uh, I am the chapter lead of Assam. I am Shilpa Roy. I'm a lawyer, a columnist, a debater, and an women right activist. I have uh, worked for almost three to four years in women rights field, and oh, I am very sensitive towards child rights. So today, among us, we have Kavita. Kavita is a well-known cybersec enthusiast. Kavita specializes in source code reviews, secure code developing, and web application pen test. And she has an experience of more than seven years. Kavita has delivered talks and sessions, and she has also been a trainer for many cybersecurity professionals. And we wish Kavita all the best from InfoSec Girls for your session. We always love to hear from you. So let's hear from Kavita now. I'm giving topic as uh, securing smart contract. Okay, so the securing smart contract, yes, I'm sure we must have heard about this a smart contract. Yes, of course, when the smart contract comes, the blockchain comes, and when the blockchain comes, the smart contract comes. Okay, so let's I uh, just tell you the smart contract is what exactly. You know, uh, this is the complete. Is uh, we can say this is a deal between parties and uh, between two people. What they are talking, so all their talks, all that discussion, they get inside code, right? They get inside code. So if yes, uh, yes, this is what uh, the agreement is done between the two parties. Okay, and that agreement it's get converted in what the computer code. Right. So this is what we call the smart contract. OK. And the smart contract is on the blockchain. OK. And uh, yes, of course, that's we know the blockchain is a completely decentralized and uh, it's accessible to everyone, let's say public or the private. Right. So this is what is actually the smart contract, the complete, which is a deal is happening between the parties. OK. They are converting all the deals, right, all the decision inside code. Okay, so that's what we call the smart contract. Okay, now here, here I have put it one example. Okay, so the example as what? Uh, where I have mentioned that John wants to buy Mike's house. Okay, so John wished to buy the Mike's house and uh, yes, of course, so they will decide it. Okay, so my house price will be this and uh, yes, if you will pay uh, this, uh, this much amount to me, so the house will be yours, right? The house will be yours so what will happen you know after the next next will the mics will create the smart contract as agreement okay so why because the john approach that's i want to buy you or buy uh, uh, your house okay to mike so uh, so of course the mike will create the smart contract so that will be the agreement between them and uh, uh, the agreements uh, the point okay the agreement center points will be what when the John will pay this much amount to Mike. Okay, the house will be owned by John. Okay, this is what the main part of it. Okay, that's it. Yes, after that, then as a same. So as I said, the smart contract what is created between them, and of course, it's a no change will happen over there once it's created. Okay, once it's created, it means uh, yes, definitely it's a based upon when this much amount will be go to the uh, that person's account, the house will be owned by that specific that person's account. Okay, that's what. Okay, so yes, same. So here, what I have mentioned here, John can feel safe to pay my decided what the amount they have decided. Okay, for that house and the smart contract are automatically executed once the condition of the agreement are met. So yes, so this is what. So here in this scenario, we can consider. So whatever the amount the people decided for their smart contract okay in their smart contract for their house so a once the amount is going to the mike's house okay so the ownership of the house will go to the john this is what the smart contract got it right so let's we move the next as well now what is a good about uh, you know uh, about the smart contract here uh, when i start the initially there i talked about the two people otherwise the parties Okay, they are coming together and deciding it. 
Okay, so what makes it uh, the good about the smart contract? You know, there is a trust, cost efficiency, transparency, and accuracy. So the trust is what, you know, trust means uh, the, the unknown people also can come together, right? Even the people are, uh, uh, means they are not aware about each other, right? But the trust, be, uh, trust will be what, you know, in this condition, okay, condition to meet. Right. So the say, uh, so the smart contract can only execute when the certain condition meet. So in the John and Mike scenario is what certain condition means what this much amount. Okay, that's it. Cost efficiency. Cost efficiency means what? Not required to waste money as extra fees to the middleman. Okay, just A and B. Okay, middleman will be not exist over there. Right. So yes, so the people can save the amount over there. Right. As like the lawyer. Okay. As like the some third party people. Right, uh, for uh, the people uh, they are bringing to uh, to build trust. Okay, so this thing will be not uh, take care. Uh, uh, means take place here. Okay, after that the transparency. Transparency means what exactly here? All can see terms and conditions of an agreement. Okay, nothing is here. Right, everything is transparent. Okay, what are what are the rules and regulations? Uh, the people decided. Okay, that will be visible to everyone. Okay, nothing will be hidden over that, right? Accuracy. Accuracy means what? I think this is, a, it's not too visible, but the, what I mentioned over there, that's a smart contract. It is strict to follow the rules and regulations. Okay, rules are rules and the condition, that's the terms and the conditions of the agreement. This is what the accuracy. Okay, so this is all the four points which makes the smart contract as a good. Okay, and uh, yes, uh, to save the, extra efforts as well to reach to the people so no so if the someone wants to sell their some buy some product whatever okay they people just have to create a smart contract they have to launch it and who wants to buy it okay they just have to pay that much amount to them right and that's it the product will be there on okay so this is what about the smart contract now here their uh, available platform Okay, so how the smart contract get built? Okay, of course, as I said, what the people decide. Okay, that's everything get converts in what the programming language. Okay, that's get in the code. Okay, so what are the platforms are available? Yes, this uh, there I have mentioned some platforms only, but there we have some more uh, number of the platforms exist, right? So yes, Ethereum. Ethereum is uh, used most of, and uh, it's supposed to. Uh, uh, the programming language as a solidity, Hyperledger is also there, and it supports as a Go and JavaScript. Yes, Bitcoin is there, EOS is there, Cardano is there, Rutas. Okay, so all the platforms are supporting the different different programming languages. Okay, different different platform what it supports. Now here the question is uh, that uh, means which language supposed to go okay so here uh here is what so of course whatever the programming language we are going to choose over there whatever the platform we are going to choose over there right so that's of course before that to go ahead we need to know about it right of course as we have the different different platforms and the different different uh, different different platforms are running with uh, with the different weaknesses with the different vulnerabilities okay so that's we need to know before to choosing any one of the platform right yes so before to go for any platform we have to do the efforts over there that's we need to know about ethereum hyperledgers if i'm choosing the hyperledgers yes so i have to go to check the what are the strong points and what are the weak points of it right and what are the well-known vulnerabilities are there okay for all the platforms okay so that will help out us to build a more secure and choose the more uh, good platform right so that's what and uh, let's say uh, go ahead okay now here in general here i have added uh means uh what the smart contract the securing the smart contract okay the general here i have added so there what we have to do you know uh not only the code okay not only the code but secure and the smart code okay secure and what the smart code so what the here we can Put, okay yes of course uh when they uh, talk about all the codes okay so there uh the everything right because we we know that code is a heart of any application is a heart of any uh 
software, right? So that's what we need to take care. So here I added some points which will help out us. You know what? Be aware about external contract costs. Yes. So what the contracts it's we are going to build and what the external contracts that I'm wishing to call it from my contract. Okay. That's I have to check is that contracts uh, is not carrying the some malicious code. Why? Because there is a chances your existing contracts will change a flow, right? The working flow of it, there is a chances. Okay. After that, using deprecated constructor and keywords. Okay, so yes, of course. So whatever the frameworks we are going to use, that's a frameworks. It uh, it it's a comes with the some uh, inbuilt the things. Okay, so that's we have to know, right? We need to know what are the things that are deprecated, which is not in a reuse right now, right? That's what. And what are the keywords that exist? Okay, and which keywords are deprecated and which keywords are strong, right? That's also we need to take care when we are choosing and when we are writing the code over there, right? Afterwards, using fixed and updated version of compiler, right? Yes, uh, it's uh, what, you know, uh, using fix. Yes, when we use the fix compiler, okay, version of the compiler, yes, that's a good uh, for us. But uh, while we are developing and when the code goes in the deployment, right? So that time, it's sometimes there, uh, the chances to come, okay, where the behavior get changed of it. So yes, so the using as a fix, uh, fix version, that's good. But yes, we have to take care about the scenario as well. But because sometimes it will take our time, right, to build it again, to make the changes. So that's what we have to make sure as well. Okay, yes, of course, that's we, everyone know the updated version of the compiler we, we must use. Yes, okay. Now the inheritance. Yes, inheritance, yes, uh, when we are writing the code, yes, in inheritance take place, but we have to make sure that inheritance is not so deep, right, and not so wide, right? So that's what we have to take care, where we can manage, where we can manage the hierarchy tree of it, right, means what the things I'm inheriting over there, that, that must be clear when I am just understanding the code. Right. When the code, if we are getting executed, that that tree is supposed to be clear to us. Right. And not like the very long tree. OK. Yes, that's what. And yes, uh, use the tested libraries and the updated version of tool. Yes. So the libraries. Yes. So the whatever the libraries we use. OK. That library, we need to know what is the weak point over there. Right. And what is the updated library of it? OK. That's also we need to know whenever we are adding okay whenever we are importing in library in our existing contract okay that's what and yes and whatever the tools we are using it okay we have to make sure is that tool is updated when we are using it right or uh, it's an older one right yes always we prefer that so we recommended that as what we use the updated one of the tool right which is always good for us okay Yes, and to be aware about common security issues. Yes, that's the most important point for us. You know what? Means whenever we are going to uh, choose any platform to build the smart contract, right? So we need to know what can be the common security issues over there, right? So yes, why? Because when we know the issues of it, yes, we can take care of it, right? While we are writing the code, we can think the scenario, right? So that will help out us more before to build, before to choosing any programming language and before to uh, choosing any platform, right? To build a smart contract. So what can be the common security issues, right? So according to that, we can put the prevention of it, okay? Yes, and after that, make proper use of access specifier. Yes, this is what the strength of our code, access specifier. So what are the access specifier and what can be the scope of it? Right? What can be the scope of it? So if there is an external, if there is an internal, right? What can be the scope of it? Right? So that's what we have to take care of it. Right? So this is what the some points what I added, but uh, uh, what we have to take care when we are writing the smart contract code. Okay? So yes, and uh, let's say I take you to the next. Yes, testing code. Yes. Now what is happened when I am developing the code? Okay? We uh, cannot assume all the scenarios right so this can be happen this can be happen right uh it's it's not all the time possible right 
so here what the things will help out as you know uh, for the developers as well so to test it, to, to perform the testing on that right so yes so we can go for the static analysis code review dynamic analysis penetration testing and sometimes offering the bug bounties as well right to get work fast done right so yes of course the static analysis for that whatever the framework we are going to choose okay according to that okay uh, for that specific platform we have the static analysis tool exist right which helped out us for formatting which helped out us to find out the deprecated one right and uh, what are the keywords right what is the correct version so all these things will help out us right and it will minimize our work right and uh, it will help out us to do the smart work okay Yes, of course, the code review. During the code review, we uh, it uh, 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 it will help out us to find out what are the mistakes are happened over there, right? Means if we uh, once we develop the code, yes, we also can go through it, right, to make our smart contract more strong, right? Yes, of course, for the dynamic analysis, yes, the dynamic and uh, for the dynamic analysis, we can host our smart contract are uh, on the local host blockchain also. Yes, yes, there is a guarantee is also exist over there. So on that, uh, the uh, platform, we can host our smart contract and we can check how it's doing, right? When the say, uh, 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 when, uh, uh, what, means how it will react, right? Why? Because sometimes it's what happened, what we are writing and what is executing, okay? It sometimes get us uh, uh, just a little bit change, okay? So that's what helped out us, okay? But yes. In the professional way, it's what every 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 smart code is smart contract is must to go okay through testing. Okay, that's what the static analysis code review and the dynamic analysis. Yes, of course, the penetration testing where we can call the uh, external team as well, right? Which will help out us to find out the weaknesses from our smart contract. Okay, they can build the proper scenario on it, right? Which will help out us. Okay. After that, so offering the bug bounties. Yes, so bug bounties also help out us to find out the weaknesses from the smart contract. And uh, yes, of course, that's a good, all these are the good point which will uh, which will help out us to make our smart contract more stronger, right? Before to put, uh, uh, before to put in the life, okay, execution. Yes, now here, uh, here I have added some, frameworks and the tools over there, right? So here, uh, I have concentrated on the Ethereum. Why? Because this is what the most we use, okay? So this is, yes, the Truffle framework is a good, uh, and uh, yes, this is a good for uh, development and the, for testing as well, right? Why? Because it provides the testing frameworks as well. So we can perform the testing also on our smart contracts What we are uh, while we are building it, right? Yes. The Remix. Remix is also the one of the good one, okay, which is available on the uh, uh, on the web as well and which is available on the desktop as well. So yes, as per, uh, 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 according to our convenience, we can deal with it. Okay, but yes, it's a work great. Okay, yes. After that, the sole hint. Okay, yes, this is a linter. And of course, uh, as I said, that's a formatting in the code that's important okay so the sole hint will help out us to validate the security and the style of the code right means what are the security issues so when we are typing the code okay what the mistakes and what can be the bad about it okay yes so the uh, 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 uh so the while we are developing it it will help out us to find out that moment right yes uh after that the my three lead also Okay, my thrill that uh, this is a security analysis tool, and yes, it helps out us to detect the security weakness of the smart contract. Yes, even slider is also there. So these are the some tools what I added. Okay, and yes, some more tools are exist which are really very good and very great. Okay, which will help out us from the beginning. Okay, and uh, till the end. Okay, when we are just moving to make it uh, live and uh, make it available to all the users. Right. So yes, all these tools will be helped out us to to build our contract more secure. Right. So yes. So this is what uh, that's I uh, just wanted to share over there about the securing the smart contract. So I hope this will help out you whenever we are creating and whenever we are thinking to create the smart contract. Right. And what the points we have to take care. Of. Yes. So thank you so much. I'm India.
Thank you. So uh, thank you, Kavita, for such a brainstorming season. And as lawyers, we often uh, have dealt with physical contracts. So it was very uh, uh, important for us to know about smart contracts. Thank you again. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. This is one second. So this is to one topic which is very relevant and uh, needed at this time because uh, smart contracts are being used at a lot of places and people still don't understand what exactly they are. So the topic is very relevant and useful and we look forward to many more sessions from you and I am sure people will have a lot of questions for you. Right now, I don't see any questions from the audience. So thank you so much, Kavita, for joining us today. And thank you, Shilpa, for the wonderful moderation. So we'll see everyone in the next session in another um, four minutes. So stay tuned for that.